Now it is my pleasure to invite the winner of the award for academic distinction to speak for the undergraduate class of 2017. The award winner is Holly L. Tubby, a human resource professional who excelled in her studies while working full time and raising a family. She has earned the degree Bachelor of Science in Liberal Studies. Holly? It is an honor to be here tonight and have the opportunity to speak to all of you. This day represents something different to each of us, but for all of us, this day represents a new beginning in some way. Before I begin, I'd like to take a moment to welcome each of you here tonight. Welcome graduates, family, and friends. Welcome Marist faculty and staff, and thank you for working so hard to make this special occasion for us tonight. This evening, we pause to celebrate our academic accomplishments. As non-traditional students, we took an altered path to graduation. Our winding path has had bumps, twists, and turns, giant hills, and maybe even roadblocks along the way. We worked hard to get here. We've overcome the terrain and made it to our destination. That, my friends, is something to celebrate. Well, I don't know most of you, I feel a connection with you. Our paths may have crossed along the way, and maybe they didn't. But I know the strength you have. I know the adversity you met along the way. I understand that you didn't just go to college. You lived life while going to college. You went to work. You changed jobs. You raised children, and so much more, while going to college. This is a testament to your strength, a strength that I bet you didn't even know you had. To those family, friends, and loved ones here tonight, you were strong enough to support us. Thank you. To the professors here at Marist who supported us, thank you. To my fellow graduates who gave up so much, sacrificed family time, and worked so hard to be here, you made it. As I stand here, a college graduate, I'm still in disbelief. It's been a long journey. The last leg of my journey began at a unique time in my life, as I'm sure it did yours. We will celebrate differently from those that stand here tomorrow. I was recently asked what I will do with my degree. This was a question I hadn't pondered before, as I was so busy working to obtain it. I was driven to finish my last class so I could move on with my life, my work, and get back to a sense of normalcy with my family. As an adult student, I completed that last class and was thankful to have had my time back. But guess what? The time got filled up with other things. Life was busy, and it was almost a non-event. I moved on with my life quickly, and I'd nearly forgotten that I had even earned a degree. To say I was thankful to be finished is an understatement. However, I didn't take the time to think about what the future held or about all that I had accomplished. I was asked this one simple question and it made me realize that I should take time to celebrate my accomplishment and consider what it means to me. As such, I reflected on how I got here and what it meant to be an adult learner. Adult learners are already on their path of life and post-graduation, they continue on with that life. And like me, they probably can't imagine, now that it's completed, how they fit it all in. Graduation may not be as much of a turning point for adult learners as it is for traditional learners, as traditional students are generally just beginning their path of life and upon graduation, taking time to celebrate is normal and anticipated. Stephen Covey's habit number two tells us to begin with the end in mind. Mr. Covey states, this means to begin each day, task, or project with a clear vision of your desired direction and destination, and then continue by flexing your proactive muscles to make this happen. And so, here we are at the end of this journey, and we made it. But what's next for you? I encourage you to take a moment and reflect on your accomplishments, regardless of why you started your education or Marist, or how long it took you to finish, each and every one of you worked hard made sacrifices, and earned something that you deserve to celebrate, something that no one can take away from you. As you look to your own future, 
You must reflect upon this. You must determine how your newly earned degree and the knowledge that comes with it will make a difference in your life. And so, you will begin again with a new end in mind. I'm grateful for the opportunity you have learned at Marist. I'm grateful for the support of my husband, Keith, and my daughters, Samantha and McKenna. I couldn't have done it without them. As I continue on my journey, I look forward to all my future has to offer, and I wish each of you the very best in your future, wherever it takes you. Congratulations.